In this video we're going to look at the minimum surface of revolution. So the idea is that we have a, a curve here and whenever we revolve that curve round about 360 degrees the question is what curve will give us the minimum surface area? So we've already solved this problem whenever we looked at the catenary so you can go back and have a look at that catenary video if you like for as a refresher but the really the answer to this is that the minimum surface is given by the catenary which is rotated round about this value of 2 pi so if we were to look at the surface area surface area is going to be the function y of x which is just this function here which is what we're looking for and we're going to integrate that with respect to dx and we're going to rotate it round the value of 2 pi so we multiply it by 2 pi now we've seen whenever we looked at the catenary we can say that the value ds is going to be given uh, 1 plus y derived of squared to the power of a half times y. So really what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we did with the catenary but the shape's going to be changing or the function is going to be changing by a factor of 2 pi. So we have the same function as before but now we have a function of 2 pi in it as well. So in effect we just get the same value which is the uh, the the cosh of x plus a upon c and this here is a catenary and this is the shape of the curve which when rotated, rotated round 2 pi will give us a minimum surface area so not much in this video uh, it's really just a catenary video with a factor of 2 pi for a rotation so that's all there is for this video i'll get you in the next one goodbye